Our guest, who's coming out right now, needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. He's a four-time NBA champion. He's a four-time finals MVP. He's a four-time Taco Tuesday customer of the week. <laughs> His brand new movie <laughs> is called Space Jam, A New Legacy. Check this out. Whoa, what in the world? Mommy, what just happened? Oh, my God. Kids! Run! Oh. Hey, what is going on? Where's Dom? I don't know, but I have to go play this game to save everyone with. Bugs Bunny? Uh, what's up, Doc? No. That's kind of normal around here. Space Jam, a new legacy opens in theaters and on HBO Max on Friday. Please welcome from your Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron been famous for so long at such a young age, you ever get sick of it? I have a friend who, before you came here, when you were a Cavalier, you came in a restaurant after a Clipper game, and the L.A. people stood up and clapped. <laughs> <laughs> much appreciated. Much appreciative, man. And, uh, I'm happy to be in L.A. now. So, uh... Yeah. And, uh it means even more. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, when I was thinking about the love, and they were telling me the story about the restaurant, um... A Kobe interview popped into my mind. Kobe used to say he liked a little hate sometimes. When he's on the road, uh, it kind of motivated him. How do you feel about that when you're at an away game? No, absolutely. I mean, you, know, you just said it. So to, to feel that adversity, to feel that tension is what brings out the best in us. You know, uh, you know, your whole motivation, you know, besides trying to win the game, obviously, is to shutting up the opposing fans and the opposing crowd mm -hmm. and uh, making them go home and get no sleep. <laughs> because of you. <laughs> yes. mm. uh, are you watching basketball right now? I am. Yeah. I am. Uh, I have a horse in a race and he goes by the name of Chris Paul. So uh, I have been watching, yes. That is, uh, that is my brother and uh, we've, been, we've known each other since uh, my junior year in high school. Um, his sophomore year, we actually met for the first time when we were in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. We played in the same AAU national basketball tournament in Orlando, Florida, and then we officially met uh, my junior year, his sophomore year, and we've been, I mean, we've been friends ever since. Yeah, and, and we hear and read that you all are friends, but it's deeper than I realized. Um, he was at the hospital for the birth of one of your children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was at the hospital for the birth of my second child, my second son, Bryce Maximus, and it happened to be during the NBA Finals then. Wow. Yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, he's the godfather of Bryce, and uh, Bryce came out the night before, and then I went on to proceed to get my ass kicked by the Spurs the next day. So, uh, <laughs> there was no sleep for me then. <laughs> yes. I was very upset when the NBA... I don't know the technicalities, but they kind of blocked yeah, they, Chris Paul like coming vetoed. here. They like vetoed the, the trade to come. I, I've never seen that yeah. uh, in NBA history. And uh, I was excited as heck for CP. Mm -hmm. I thought the Lakers uh, faithful was excited to get him. And then, uh, you know, they just they vetoed it. But, you know, it's working out for him right now, I tell you, some years yeah. later. It's working out for him. Could it still happen? And uh, would you like it to still happen? <laughs> <laughs> I know why you're laughing, because that would be tampering or something, right, if I talk about that? Well, you, I th you, you don't know the word, or you know the word? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah like, I, know, I know it, but this card. Uh, I, no, you probably can't talk about that. Of but, course you'd love to play with your friend. We'd course. love it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let me think of a question you can answer. You know what? Uh, I remember, as a fan, um, seen the Sports Illustrated when you were a young man. You were on the cover. As young as you were, you have a son who's younger than you who's now on the cover of Sports Illustrated, but it's not about 
basketball. No, it's not about basketball. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, uh, yeah, my, my son on there with, uh, you know, the football player in Arizona as well, as well Kyler Murray, and, and the whole Phage clan is what they call him, and Ronnie plays video games mm -hmm. all day. And, uh, I mean, he loves basketball. He plays basketball. Loves being a big brother to his big brother, to his little brother and sister. Mm -hmm. But uh, video games is his thing, and uh, he, he's excited about it. I tried to hold the secret as long as I could, because mm -hmm. when he got on the cover, I was like, you know I was younger than you, right? <laughs> and then he did some research. All, of these, every, all these kids got all these phones, which we didn't have when I was growing up Absolutely. like that. Absolutely, yes. He was like, Dad, no, you were actually uh, six months older than me, and uh, now I'm the youngest guy in the household on Sports Illustrated. Yeah. <laughs> The way he's playing, he might end up on Sports Illustrated young twice. Man, that'd be, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing for sure. And, and you know what's cool is I watched the movie, me and my son and my girl, I took everybody yeah. and we sat and watched it. I loved it. You're really good. Don Cheeto is good in this. Man. Man. You want to oh. talk about Don? Because he did. Oh. I, I'm watching like, damn, he's so talented. Oh, he's so talented. It, it was such an honor then just being on set with him, seeing his cadence, seeing his presence. You know, seeing how he worked with other people on, on set. And I mean, he's a beast. And I, I love that guy. He's a great guy, man. He's the LeBron James of the silver screen. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> he's, he's good. He man. always delivers, man. Always delivers. Always. Uh, I promise, Guillermo, he's looking at me. I, I, he's, he's distracting me. Uh, because <laughs> you, you don't dislike him, right? No, not at all. <laughs> I, actually, I actually love this guy, man. He doesn't yeah. even know it. Yeah, I love you it. too, man. Yeah, I love you too, man. See, Guillermo, he, get, he gave me an opportunity to focus even more during all those finals runs I had. <laughs> I was saying to myself, if I can block him out, <laughs> then the fans have no chance of getting hit. <laughs> You want another shot at it, a second bite at the apple, Guillermo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Ask your question, sir. All right. LeBron, when you take a shower, do you wash your legs? <laughs> do you wash your legs is the question. Do I wash my legs? At this point in my life, I have gotten to the point where I wash my legs. When I was a, when I was a little young lad, I used to just let the soap just do what it do. Just, <laughs> If it, wherever it falls from the, from the top of my head all the way down there, whatever, so be it. But I, yes, I'm washing my legs right. now. Can, can I give you a hug? Absolutely. Oh, uh, look at my I love you, man. I love you. Yeah. 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 I know the feeling. <laughs> you know, because I got permission to wait around on a Christmas Day game. Before you were a Laker, you were a Cav. Yeah. Uh, I got permission to wait around, and, and I wanted my son. You know how sometimes your kids will want to meet somebody? This is a man I wanted my kid to meet. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're such an incredible man in the way you've balanced on the floor, off the floor, with class and dignity, it just makes me proud. And I want my, I wanted my kid to shake your hand. And you know what? I know your secret weapon, because you had to do press that day. Y'all won here in L.A. I talked to your mother for an hour. No. Huh? That's the secret weapon, dog. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it absolutely is. Yes. <laughs> she was so nice to me, and, and, and she's amazing. You've always been a big kid. Did she ever spank you? You ever get spanking? <laughs> yes, I've, I've only had a couple. And I think the last spanking started my growth spurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got spanked so hard when I woke up, I was six inches taller. And then my mom was like, you know what? No more spankings going on in this house. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know we're going to go outside in a moment, but just take a couple seconds to tell them about the movie. Space Jam, A New Legacy, first of all, the first one came out 25 years ago mm -hmm. with the great Michael Jordan. Uh, <laughs> someone who, 
inspired me uh, to be as great as I can be on and off the floor. Um, and 25 years later, I, I am now the lead role for Space Jam, A New Legacy. And... <laughs> It's, um, I don't, I don't really get lost for words too much, but this has definitely gotten to me. Um, last night we had the world premiere down, um, at LA Live, mm -hmm. and, um, I, I'm a kid from Akron, Ohio, and I used to have dreams of being alongside the Looney Tunes and, and wishing I could be the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and mm -hmm. all these <laughs> great things growing up. And yesterday I'm sitting there with my family and my friends and all the people that was there. And we're just watching this movie of obviously Bugs and Daffy and Lola and Taz. And I'm on this silver screen with them. And also at the same time, I'm there preaching about fatherhood and, and listening to your kids. Um, you're gonna get, when you go see this movie, I hope you guys take your family and friends and everyone, your loved ones. I'm telling you guys won't be disappointed, but you're gonna get laughs and might get some cries. You're gonna get some moments. You're gonna get everything that comes with a great summer movie. So I hope you guys uh, love it. Yes. The movie has everything. Thank right? you. We'll be right back with LeBron James versus the Hell Hoop after this.